Now, the hurricane season started on Monday, June 1st, and from last week, we were preparing you for it. Just getting you ready in terms of looking at storage. This week, we're focusing on those personal tanks that many of you have at your homes, and it's all about sanitizing them in the event that there is a hurricane or a system affecting Barbados. What do you do? Well, to help you with that, we have Nicole Austin here with us. She is a water quality technologist at the BWA. We're focusing on maintenance this week, Nicole. What can you tell us about making sure that these tanks are well sanitized uh, in the event that we are struck by a system? Hi, yes. Good day, Shane. What we're gonna talk about today is the personal tank maintenance. And as the hurricane comes, please remember, listen up for your notifications and start storing your five gallons per person in your household per day. And mm -hmm. for the personal tanks, what could happen is since these tanks work from a flow through system that has a pump that's done with electrical supply as well as water coming in constantly from the BWA main, you may be without electricity and you may be without water coming from there so therefore you're going to have this tank there with stagnant water sitting there for a while if this happens what you can do to sanitize this tank is to use normal regular household bleach to clean out this tank we We're have back to the bleach again back to the bleach again your regular household regular smelling bleach what we have is for one gallon of household bleach per 1,000 gallons of drinking water storage. So for the 450 or 500 gallon tank storage, what you're gonna use is a two liter pet bottle of bleach. And if you have a 250 gallon water tank, you're going to use one quart of gallon or one liter of bleach to just pour into the top of that tank. You're going to make sure that the valve is off, is off from the BWA main or from the BWA meter leading to that tank. You're gonna pour in that beach. Please be careful as you do this. And then you're gonna allow it to sit in this tank for 24 hours. During that 24 hours, you can continue using the water that you would have stored in preparation for the hurricane, the five gallons per person per day. And during that 24 hours, that bleach is gonna sit in there and sanitize the tank. Now, what is very important is that when, after the 24 hours is finished, you want to make sure that the lines leaving that tank is also disinfected. So you don't, you will have a very disinfected system of water within this tank. And now you want to make sure that the lines going into your home and at every kitchen sink and the bathroom and the face basin you want to make sure that those that those lines leading to those pipes and faucets are also disinfected and sanitized so nice. after the 24 hours you open up every pipe that is fed by this tank every single pipe you make sure you walk around and you allow that water to come out through that line while that water is coming out you make sure you smell the bleach smell at each tap each tap that is serviced you want to make sure that it's getting all the way through the house with from this tank with the supply from the sanitized tank so once that is done you can turn off your taps and then you can turn back on the main from the the supply from the main to the tank and therefore you now have your tank maintained sanitized maintained and especially if you do not have the access to you know the power wash or what other persons might use if they just drain the tank on on a side without letting the water go into their home this is one way and that is how you can sanitize the personal tanks at your home nicole right. always thanking you for the tips uh, to view this or a previous episode again please visit our website www.barbadoswaterauthority.com you can go to our Facebook or Instagram pages or just type Water Wednesdays in YouTube. You know you can find us there. It's